Welcome back to Crist Mining and today it's time for the July farm update. Let's start with the new machine, the Antminer Z9 Mini. It's been hashing well for about one week now and it's been more than stable. If you didn't see the video about it, we are currently trying a modest overclock with 600 MHz bringing us to around 13,000 souls. I'm showing you some of the earnings of the last days on the screen. The first 24 hours were Zcash and from there it was Zen until now. With tracking apps and mining I keep the buy price for the moment I tracked it so I'm also able to see how the price of the coins changed. Here you can see that the temperatures have been fine, stable hashing and no hardware errors. On the pool side we see some fluctuations but sometimes this is also my home network. It's acting up a bit during storms which are still hitting us here in Austria at the moment. I know other miners have managed to push the Z9 Mini further but if the Z9 Mini really was new as it seemed I want to increase my overclock slowly and not go crazy directly. But there will be more videos about the little monster coming up soon. Turning to the bike hulls, I already told you in the June video that I'm looking to downsize that department and the plan has already formed. These are giant pluses, so we are talking X11, X13, X15, Qubit and Quark algorithms. I was thinking of exchanging two of them for one X10 giant each, which would basically give me five times more hash rate, but I'd lose the X13 algo which I'm currently still running on, so it's still on Deep Onion. But I would get new algorithms like you would see on the screen. So that's also the reason why I haven't done it yet. I couldn't decide. So to be honest, now I'm still unsure. When market's down, it can be a good time to buy miners. I like expanding in those times. But it's also a bad time to resell a miner, so things stayed the same here in that department. The last ASIC before we turn to the GPUs is the L3 Plus, which we have recently turned into an L3 Plus Plus. Thanks to Justin, I finally found out where Bitmain's advertised hash rate of 580 mega hashes for the L3 Plus Plus comes from. If I chosen not to keep my settings, the L3 Plus would have been automatically overclocked to 450 megahertz instead of my modest 425 clock setting. That explains it. We also finally got a volume meter in so that you can see how loud the monster is. So there will be more accurate readings about noise in future videos. Let's talk GPUs. So you remember the AMD rig? I had to steal one GPU for a PC of mine. Just another reason why I'm glad to be a miner. There's always another GPU on hand. So the Oros card is currently used in another system, but is always mining in off work time. It's very similar with the Octominer at the moment. So it's still in line with our summer preparations. This means GPUs are being taken out, checked, cleaned and circled back. The AMD rig is currently running cool on Monero and the Octominer is running on Lyra 2 Rev 2. So that's already it for the July farm update. Last month I told you I want to scale down a bit but actually it just got more. But well, that's mining life. So a new machine and just more maintenance during storms. I also want to use this chance to say thank you to all of you for your support for this young channel. This keeps me motivated to keep going. All the best to you. Thank you very much and bye.